Hey guys, in this video, I will show you how to design your landing page layout even before designing your actual landing page. Because planning is very essential, especially in case of landing page building. Because if you're clueless about what kind of page you will build, you will screw it all up. Right. So I have created a new page here and called it landing page layout and loaded a Thrive Architect for that page. And in here, you can see I have selected a blank template under this templates section because it's a brand new landing page. Now, I need to have some vague idea about how my landing page looks like, right? So for that, I may use these templates as an inspiration. In this case, I will be uh, building a sales page, like a sales pages layout, not the actual sales page. Uh, so in this, uh, let me select uh, the sales page here. And I don't know why it's not working. Yes. So in a sales page, the header and the menu will be there a headline, a subheadline, a video call to action, and some uh, social proof of testimonials, and the pricing table, and the footer. That is a very simple sales page. So let's see how you can uh, develop a, a prototype of how your landing page will look like by making use of these three container elements, right? So I call them as container elements because these are the elements within which other elements um, can be um, contained in right so column element background section and content box so for header you need a logo and a menu here so for that we need two column container and this uh, logo will be quite small in width okay this is for the header that means it's for the logo and the menu and after that you have what and headline Right. So for headline, you need to have a content box because we don't need full width headline here. We need headline that is short in width, not full width. Layout position and it should be in the middle. I can play it with the width here to make it suitable. Yes. Headline can be this much wide. Okay. Below the headline under the same content box, we can also add a uh, sub headline and after that we need to include a video so for video we can include a different um, a kind of background uh, color that is full width right so we can add a background section so that is full width right so now uh, whenever we add the video we can just uh, change the background color right that's why I have added background section. And after the video, there will be video description and the call to action will also be there in the same background section. You will get some clarity about what I'm talking about when I'm uh, designing the whole uh, sales page in the next video using the same layout. But do remember that this is for head heading header and this is for um, a headline and a sub headline and this is for video and its description and also the call to action. And after the call to action, there should be some testimonials. For that, I will add another uh, background section. Why I'm doing this is because I need the background of this image and also the background of these testimonials should be of uh, different colors. So you will get a clarity in the next video. And after the testimonials, I need to include a pricing table. So for that, pricing table will not be full width, right? So I can use a content box. But if I add a content box, like it will not align with this properly. So I'm going to delete this and duplicate this. Instead of using this uh, duplicate button here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold my option key on Mac or um, alt key on Windows, hold it and just drag it. Right now it will be automatically duplicated the same width, right? Alignment is there. So this is for the pricing table. And after the pricing table, we have a footer bar, right? For that, it's not a column it's just a foot or bar so we are going to use background section so this is how we plan a, a landing page so but you need to remember what elements you should insert in each of these sections you can um, before even creating this prototype you can write down in a, a white sheet of paper um, giving the description for each of these uh, containers what elements should fit in but if you are doing everything digitally, this is the way to go. But you need to be, um, you need to remember what elements should go in each of these containers while doing the plan, if it's more complex, right? So in the next video, let's fill this up with elements and create our beautiful landing page, sales landing page.